Well, why don't you just give us your overall assessment uh, on Dakota? Well, there's definitely uh, more plays. We left plays on the field we need to make, um, but that's all part of the position. Uh, thought we uh, had an opportunity a couple times to kind of make some big plays. We didn't find a way to do those. Um, put us in a position at the end of the game to try to drive down to tie it or win it, which that's what you kind of ask your quarterback to do, put us in that position, and we didn't find a way to finish it at the end. Coach Lubick said that final play call was a, a pass that was or was supposed to be a pass down the field. Did you ask Dakota what he saw on that play? Uh, the very last one? Yeah. Uh, well, it, protection-wise, he felt some pressure and tried to get out of there, and then uh, kind of everything else kind of broke down from there. Did you guys envision running him this, this much this game, like the quarterback just being that big of a threat in the run game? Uh, we thought there'd be an uh, opportunity with how their backside end played. and So scheme-wise, we kind of put ourselves in position to be able to use that to our advantage, which I think was made some good plays for us, but uh, wasn't enough. Was there any point, I, I think I know the answer to this, but that you thought about putting in Justin Herbert? No, we were, I mean, that was, Dakota was playing, thought was playing well, making good decisions, responsible for the football, leading us on, uh, drives to score touchdowns and everything. I thought he was our best option. What corrections do you talk about with Dakota now going into Colorado and moving up in this game? Well, it's really uh, play to play. We're looking at each play and what we could have done better. Um, that I thought uh, protection wise, I thought we did a pretty good job of putting our guys on the right guys. And that way, then we got to make sure we can stay in the pocket and uh, make some of the throws. We have some, some probably f uh, not using our feet enough, missing throws that normally he makes those and he's been making those and making them in practice. And, uh, he knew that. Uh, right after the game, but uh, we'll continue to work on footwork, sitting in the pocket, making the throw a couple times on the kind of the backside, uh, get open route. We didn't uh, didn't hit it like I expected. So every, every time I know that not every time Dakota ran, it was something that initially this call he has the option to do that, but he ran a lot today. Was that the plan going in before Royce mm -hmm. went down? Uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, a part of our thing was how the backside end played. We thought we could use uh, a lot of times use Farrow, use the tight ends, kind of coming back across and. He could pull it and have him as a, as a lead blocker, so that uh, gave us an opportunity to kind of get into space. And I think, uh, I think it was positive for the most part, just like to make make more plays. Has it been at all to kind of let, let him call his own number when you have an untested backup in a pretty rough atmosphere out there, or is it just do you, can, do you trust for both during the group? Oh, we trust uh, trust to code in, and if we need to go to Justin, we feel confident there too. So on, the, oops, on the throw to Charles on his last drive, did it look like to you they underthrew it a little bit too? That Oh, yeah. to After we kind of scrambled out there, I mean, if we could have thrown there a little bit farther or seen him a little bit sooner, we could have got the ball farther down the field and given a better chance to make a play. And then that's uh, their guy did a good job of catching back up, and we didn't throw it as far as what we'd like to. Just to clarify, you said mistakes in the pocket. Was that him maybe bailing and not sit staying and trying to find a guy out open to the receivers, or is, was that just footwork or something? No, I think it's footwork. A lot of it was just keeping, continuing to keep your feet alive and keeping them moving so it ain't whatever you decide to throw it or take off, you're ready to go. So there's no pause. But uh, I mean, there's a couple went off to watch the video to see could we have stood in there any longer? Because that's what you're always kind of looking for is to try to stay in the pocket and let the let the routes develop, especially when they're bringing pressure and we have it we have it blocked and everything. But also he has to have a fuel there when he needs to get out and make a play. Thank you. Thank you.